This video demonstrates how to solve mesh problems in diamonds. When I generate the mesh of this example model, Dynas gives an error. This indicates one or more issues in the model, usually in the geometry. Let's list some common mistakes and problems. Problem 1. Small inaccuracies in the point coordinates can lead to different, smaller issues, like plates with a weird orientation. Even if the orientation of the local coordinate system is the same for all these plates, there are still two plates acting weird. They can also lead to small plate strips. They have a bad influence on the mesh. They can also lead to double plates, double lines or double points. When zooming in and out in a 3D transparent view, we see a shadow on the plate. Requesting the plate numbers shows there are multiple plates above each other. Similar story for the line and point numbers. They can also lead to surfaces, usually walls, with a small slope. Set the size of the symbols to zero and take a non-solid representation. If the lines of a wall don't lie perfectly in the same plane, they will become both when you zoom in and out in a 2D view. Problem 2. The model can contain unnecessary points, lines and or subdivisions. They also have a bad influence on the mesh. Problem 3. The floor plan is too detailed. The position of non-bearing walls is irrelevant for calculations, so modeling them has no benefit. Problem 4. A thickening in the foundation slab shouldn't be modeled using footings because it creates two plates above each other. Now, let's solve these problems. For problem 1, I've set the units to meter and asked 6 decimals. With the selection box, I select one wall. For this wall, all x coordinates should be the same. Opening the data table shows small differences. There are three ways to solve this. The first one is adjusting manually. In the data table in the coordinate window, you copy paste the correct value. It works accurate, but it's time consuming. The second is the structure verification. You select everything, start the tool, enter a tolerance, 3 cm recommended, and select the option join points at short distance from each other. This tool will merge points closer to each other than the entered tolerance. The disadvantage of this tool is that you don't control the merging. Point A can be joined with point B or point B with point A. Lines that were perfectly straight before can have a small slope after running this tool. The last one is the projection tool. I copy the X coordinate of the wall either from the data table, either by double clicking a point, start the tool, pick the X coordinate, paste the coordinate and hit OK. This tool will adjust the x coordinates of the selection to the entered value. The advantage of this tool is that you control the merging. You can run this tool as much as needed for different coordinates in the x, y, and z direction. For this model, I used the function five times twice in the x direction, twice in the z direction, and once in the y direction. When correcting a model, eliminating inaccuracies in the coordinates is the first and most important step. It's recommended to use the projection tool. For problem 3, set only the floor visible. Select all plates using the control key. Hit control shift delete to delete all plates but not the borders. Select all irrelevant black lines and hit delete. Select everything and generate a plate. Change the plate type as desired. For problem 2, select all useless points and hit delete. If Diamonds doesn't delete the points, double click the line and set the length to 0. The place where you double click the line should be the fixed end. For problem 4, set only the foundation slab visible. Select all footings using Ctrl and hit delete. Draw the perimeter of the thickening. Select the perimeter and use the copy function to get the perimeter around each column.
select the thickenings and change the plate section as desired. The mesh can now be generated. Don't forget to verify the mesh in the mesh configuration. If you want to try and fix this model yourself, the download link for the BSF file is in the description box below.